Welcome back everybody. This is episode number two of the setup project in the series. I take a look at setups submitted by you guys and then feature cool and unique products based on those setups. If you want to see your setup featured on this show, all you got to do is send a picture of your setup to mstechsetupproject at gmail.com. The idea for this episode originally came from a setup submitted by Twitter user Levi, and I, the first time I looked at this setup, I, all I could think was, wow. Just right off the bat, his setup is gorgeous. On top of the quad monitor setup and clean overall aesthetic, that wall at the back of the desk with the LED glow looks absolutely amazing. And you see that monitor arm? At first I thought that was a floating speaker, and I quickly realized I actually can't see any speakers in this setup at all. There's a good chance those speakers are just hidden somewhere, but that got me thinking, how could you get floating speakers up there? And specifically, how could you get floating speakers up there without doing construction on the wall or spending a lot of money on custom mounts? Enter command display ledges. So I found these on Amazon and they're essentially just these ledges that adhesive to your wall using like command adhesive strips and then you can put whatever you want on the ledges. They're really meant for displaying like toys or knickknacks or, or like you know decorations or something but I thought why not use it as a platform to put speakers on so then it could be a floating speaker and the only thing you have to deal with is wires but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. So I got both the black which is called uh, slate and the white version which is called quartz um, I will probably be using the white version on this and then the quartz or the quartz version on this and the slate version on my actual setup which is a series coming soon so I'm gonna go ahead and put the slate ones over there for now uh, let's go ahead and open it up so the price is $20 for the pair it comes with two of these ledges and uh, 20 bucks for both of them and it also comes with all of these adhesive strips and when if if you've bought adhesive strips on their own you know that they're not that cheap either like a pack like this will probably cost around five dollars so when you really think about it it's not that bad of a deal at all so i'm guessing it's the short side up yeah yeah so the thick side down here is the platform part and that's where the speaker will go and then this part back here the thin part is where the command strips go and you can actually see the two mounting point for the command strips right there so the functionality and everything of this is pretty simple and if you wanted to uh, add more stability so obviously two command strips can only support so much weight but if you wanted to add more i'm sure you could just put something in there to add more command strips to it so that is the wall side and this is the command side. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the the half of them that are supposed to go on these, these shelves first, and then we're gonna address that cable problem. So these are gonna go on the wall and just be pressed up on the wall, speaker there, and uh, as I mentioned, the cables are gonna be a problem. So, I also picked up this uh, wire mate, cord mate, cord mate, cord management. Now this is basically just cable tubing that you put cables through and then it has an adhesive strip uh, that you can just put onto a wall so instead of a black cord dangling down you at least get a, a cleaner looking white cable mold. Now these are very popular to use with like TVs so coming out the back of a TV instead of having like the power cord, multiple HDMI cords, the optical audio cord all coming down from the bottom of a TV you just have one of these guys coming down and it looks a lot better. However, this is a very long cord and with what I'm planning on doing with these, I'd like to cut this in half. And because I'm very smart, I don't own any scissors at this office, so I'm gonna do my best to use a knife. Which actually does look like it will work. Oh, I hope I don't, yep. <laughs> I was about to say, I hope I don't mess up the desk and instantly I slip and, and stab the desk instead. Give it a little twist, boom. And those are almost equal sized, but it's not gonna matter because they're gonna go under the desk anyway. Let me go grab the speakers, show you that real quick, and then we'll go over to the desk and set them up. So the speakers I'm gonna be using for the purpose of this video are just the front two speakers of the Z506 from Logitech, which is a surround sound set, but I'm just worried about these front speakers. Now something you will notice is that these speakers are pretty large, so there's actually gonna be a little bit of overhang there coming over the, uh, the platform, which isn't ideal, and uh, it's something I probably should have known beforehand, but for the purpose of this video, it will definitely do. I would definitely make sure if you're getting this, you either make sure your speakers will fit on this or you find a larger platform, but with a little bend of the cable, it looks like we're gonna be just fine. All right, so now we're gonna actually go over there and set this stuff up on camera and uh, see how it works in practice. 
All right, so over here is where these speakers are gonna go. It's gonna go one right there and then one over there. And uh, I'm really just gonna go for it and do it and try not to over overthink it. Uh, I'm gonna move this stuff off the desk and I'm hoping it works out pretty well. All right, so those have been mounted. How do they look on there? They look great. All right, so now we wanna get the speakers. And there you have it. You can see it only took about 15 minutes and you get this very, very cool floating speaker look. Uh, of course, we do have the cable routing on either side of it, uh, but you can get creative with that. I personally really, really like the way it turned out. It looks nice and clean, makes the desk look good, well put together. Job well done. So yeah, there you have it. There are the floating speakers. Of course, you can repeat this with multiple speakers. Use bigger platforms for bigger speakers. A lot of, a lot of flexibility with this because you're just putting together different types of products for one finished product. That's going to be it for episode two of the setup project. Really liking this series so far. These videos are a lot of fun to make. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying them as well. Oh, also big news. If you, I know you guys saw the canvases earlier, the ones over there. There's also one over there. They're from Iconic. I've been trying to get a sponsorship deal with them for a while. I got an affiliate link set up. So if you want to get one of those posters, they will be linked in the description below. And they are now an official MS Tech affiliate. I guess we would call them an affiliate, not a sponsor. Or maybe I'm the affiliate and they're the sponsor. I don't really know how it works, but there's an affiliate link now. That's fantastic news. Uh, yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.